and welcome back to Smiles in a Bite. Today is going to be a little bit different. It's not a full tutorial. It's more so a way to transform your recipe without having to do too much. I had some leftover cookie dough and I didn't want it to go to waste. So I figured why not experiment and try some new things. So there are cookies. There are a lot of cookies that you can make using the same base of cookie dough. So like the chocolate chip cookie dough without the chocolate chips. This is the same recipe that I have posted on my channel. I'm just gonna make it a little bit different by adding in some things. The first is gonna be M&Ms. These are a cookie that people like. It's a cute little decoration. It's like the rainbow cookies. Or I don't know what they're called. I think they're rainbow cookies. Since Easter's coming up, I'm gonna use the Easter M&Ms. Um, I'm also trying it out because I kinda wanna have it at a pop-up. So I wanna see if it'll work. And this one I'm not gonna give specific me measurements just because I'm not starting off with the full batch of cookie dough. I'm using leftovers. So kind of just measure to your liking. It depends on how sweet you like things or, or not. Um, I just want enough in there so that it'll be a nice distribution throughout the cookie dough. Now you can do this without the chocolate chips and just the M&Ms because M&Ms do have chocolate inside. But again, I already had it made. And for everyone that has a sweet tooth that really loves chocolate, these are great for them. So it's, it's a cool way to make cookies festive without having to decorate cookies or learn how to make a new cookie altogether. It's, you're starting with the base of something that you already have and you know how to make, and you're just omitting an ingredient or adding one. So I'm gonna take my regular cookie scoop. Again, your cookies, you want them to be spaced out evenly because they are going to spread. So I just like to do it three on the bottom, two in the middle, three on the bottom. And that's just to pre prevent them from sticking together when they spread. Now what I'm also going to do is because I do want the M&Ms to be visible on top and not covered by the dough. I'm just going to take a couple. And just stick them on the surface. You don't have to do this. I just want to make sure like you can clearly see the M&Ms. Now the next cookie is kind of a copycat of my favorite cookie from Panera. Um, it's not like their copycat recipe. You can find copycat recipes online. I'm just going based off of what I know is in the cookie. So it's called a kitchen sink cookie. And they call it the kitchen sink cookie because it has everything but the kitchen sink. So it's, again, chocolate chip cookie dough base um, and I'm adding caramel bits and broken pretzel bits. You can add in potato chips, people add raisins, um, honestly anything you want. You can even do the M&Ms with the pretzels and the caramel. I think it's too much. I think the caramel and the pretzels are enough because it's kind of like a salty sweet combo and then you top them off with um, sea salt when you bake them and it kind of balances it out it's not too sweet it's not too salty so again with this i don't have specific measurements you're measuring with your heart until your ancestors tells you it's enough and you can stop however you want to say it so these are just regular caramels from the grocery store they have them in the candy aisle um I'm using the chewy kind. I double checked online. You can use the chewy kind or the soft cream ones. Um, so what I'm gonna do is they're kind of like long little bits. You don't want huge chunks of caramel in the cookie dough because then it'll get caught in your teeth and then it's just like a whole mess. So I'm just gonna cut them into little bits. And then these are super easy to cut. You don't have to melt them or anything. 
as long as you have like sharp scissors or like these and these are specifically kitchen scissors scissors my gosh i can't talk today so they're like they're not regular scissors i'm sure if you've had regular scissors you can wash them and use them you can probably try with the knife scissors are easier that's the way i'm going so i bought pretzel sticks um i could have bought the regular like shaped pretzels but they have these so and if you're buying the pretzels make sure they're not the super thick um the super thick pretzels because then that'll just i don't like those like i don't know anyone who likes those because it's just the pretzels are too thick the pretzels are already crispy and then you just don't want like a thick chunk of pretzel i think the bites the little bit pieces are great And I'm just mixing it. And again, I'm just checking for like even distribution. So I'm scooping up from the bottom. I'm really trying to fold everything in properly. Again, it's harder when it's in a tall container like this rather than a wider one. But if you do it in a bowl, you won't have any trouble at all. So that's good enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop them out onto the same sheet. These aren't going to anyone, so I don't have to worry about allergies or anything. These are strictly for a test and the video itself. When I scoop my cookie dough, I like to scrape off the excess from the bottom. That helps me create kind of like an even, a rounder look for my cookies. That, and I know the cookies are all gonna be roughly the same size and roughly the same amount. Now what I could do is I could refrigerate or, um, yeah, refrigerate these um, for 30 minutes. I don't think you need to. Um, you can just pop them in your oven for 3 to 10 minutes and you're ready to go. I'm just going to add to the kitchen sink cookies. I'm just gonna sprinkle them with a little bit, not a lot. A flaky sea salt and that'll really help with the salty sweet element and I like the Malden, um, the Malden sea salt flakes be because it's a larger crystal so if you have like a big crystal like like this one you can crush it up and you kind of because you can feel the, the crystals in your hand you can control how much is going on the cookie so I'm gonna go bake these and I'll be back with the final product and this is the final product so you can see the m ms sitting on top, but they're also kind of covered by the cookie dough. So that's why I put them on top, or I pressed them on top. And then with the kitchen sink, this is the pretzel, you see the caramel. And then the salt actually melted while it was in the oven. But two easy ways to make new cookies without having to learn something entirely new. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.